Okay, I will show you examples uh, how we can uh, perform the operation of uh, subtraction okay, by using uh, subtract the circuit. And then uh, another two examples is uh, uh, add the subtract the circuit. So, okay, the process of uh, addition and subtraction okay, by using add the subtract the circuit. So we start with the subtract the circuit. Okay. So based on this uh, question, okay, you need to draw 4 bit subtract the circuit to show how the subtraction of 7 minus 2 works. Okay, first of course you need to draw the subtract the circuit. Okay, you must remember the uh, the label, okay, how many for adder that you need, and then what kind of gate that you need to uh, connect with your P and as well uh, connected with your full adder. So this is the uh, four bit uh, subtractor circuit. Okay, and then uh, uh, next uh, you also need to represent the value, uh, meaning that the value of decimal seven and also two in uh, binary representation. Okay, so two, uh, sorry, seven. Okay, so seven in uh, binary is uh, zero one one one. Okay, so this is for a, and then two. Okay, two in binary is uh, zero zero one zero. Okay, and then uh, your result. Okay, uh, so this is your a. Okay, this is your b. Okay, so result. Uh, you will get. Uh, 5 okay because 7 minus 2 you will get 5 uh, so 5 okay 5 is uh, 0 1 0 1 okay which is this is for your s okay so um for this subtraction uh, process uh, the common mistake that student did was uh, the value of 2 okay the value of 2 yeah, because the student tend to perform the operation of uh, complement uh, complement value and then you will uh, label at B. Yeah, so that is uh, the correct, sorry, the wrong uh, step. Okay, so you doesn't have to complement the value of 2, which is the value of B, because you already have uh, gate nodes that will uh, perform the operation of complement. Yeah, so you just label uh, the value that before the complement process. Okay, so I will show you. Uh, first is for A. Okay, so A you have 4 bit, uh, 0, 1, 1, 1. So you need to know which one uh, represent A1, A2, A3. Yeah? So uh, the value is start from least significant bit, which is start from your right. Okay, so this is, uh, this is your A1. Okay, and then of course this is your A4. Okay, and then in the middle is uh, A2 and A3. Okay, so this is A2 and then this is A3. So same goes with your B. Okay, this is B1, B2, B3 and B4. And then your expected result will be this one. S1, S2, S3, S4. You just need to map the value of A and B, not your S. Okay, uh, your S here is actually just for your reference. Okay, either your value that you will get here okay, is uh, similar with this value of S. Yeah. So, I show you the mapping process and the process of uh, subtraction. Okay, so A1 is 1. Okay, and then A2 is 1. Okay, A3 is 1. And then A4 is 0. Okay, and then we map the value of B. So B1 is 0. Okay, B2 is 1. Okay, B3 is 0. And B4 is 0. Okay, so before you perform the process of addition, okay, using a full adder, uh, you must perform the process of uh, complement, which is using not. Okay, you can perform the process of uh, complement uh, by all uh, B here. Okay, and then later you will perform the addition. Okay. So not 0 is 1. Okay, not 1 is 0. Okay, not 0 is 1. Okay, not 0 is 1. Okay, so now we start with the first full adder. Okay, so 1. Okay, 1 plus 1 plus 1. Okay, so 1 plus 1 plus 1. You will get 1, 1. 
okay and then co1 okay will carry to the next full adder uh, with the same value which is one so next c in is equal to uh, one okay so the value of s2 so s2 is uh, you get from the value of c in k1 k plus a2 one and then plus your not p which is equal to zero okay so one plus one plus zero so you will get zero one okay and then your c out will go to the next c in okay which is one okay, and then for your next s3 is uh, c in one plus a3 one and then plus with your not b which is one okay one plus one plus one is one one okay and then next co will become to the next c in which is one and for your last s4 is one plus zero plus one so you will get zero one okay so your answer okay uh, this s1 okay uh, s1 is one so s1 is less significant bits okay so s1 here this is s1 one s0 s2 okay s3 and then s4 yeah, so you will get 0, 1, 0, 1. So same with this value. Yeah, so this is how you perform the subtraction yeah, using the 4-bit subtractor circuit. Yeah, uh, so uh, you need to show the value of decimal for A and B. And also how you can map the value uh, to your subtractor circuit. Yeah, and what is the value of your S? And of course, the value of your CO, CE, and also the value of your complement uh, B. Okay. Okay, next example is for adder subtractor. Okay. So for this next example, okay, you need to show the process of addition. Okay. Process of addition by using adder subtractor circuit. Okay. So first, of course, you need to draw the adder subtractor circuit. Okay, with all full leveling yeah, so this is the uh, the adder subtractor so you must remember the uh, adder subtractor circuit the drawing parts okay? next part is actually of course the conversion process uh, you need to show the decimal and as well as the binary so you have two value which is a is 4 so 4 in binary in 4 b is 0 1 0 0 and then your b is 3 Okay, 3 is 0, 0, 1, 1. Okay, and then your S. Okay, uh, so A plus B, you will get S. Okay, which is uh, 4 plus 3. So, you will get 7. Okay, so 7 is actually equal to 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. So, same goes with the previous uh, you need to know which one is A1, A2, B1, A2. Eh? So we start uh, mapping. Okay, but uh, before we map the value of A and also B, so you must rem remember this is adder subtractor. So adder subtractor can perform both operations. Okay, so how you can perform perform both operations is actually by uh, entering the value to your control input. Okay, so control will. Uh, determine okay your circuit perform uh, either addition or subtraction so because uh, for this example you need to perform the addition so what is the value of your control okay so the value of your control for addition is actually equal to zero right so equal to zero meaning that all line that connected with uh, control will carry the same value okay so this also sorry this is also will carry zero this line also will carry zero so this line also will carry zero, okay, zero, and of course your first C in also will equal to zero. Okay, so that is the uh, the next step. Yeah, after you label, okay, and then next, okay, you can map the value of your A and also your B. Okay, we start with your A. So this is uh, A one zero. Okay, A two also zero. A three is one. A four is zero. Okay, so we start with B. So B, B1 is 1. Okay, B2 is 1. Okay, B3 is 0. And then B4 is 
zero okay so come with this value come from this value okay before you get your value of s and co okay you need to solve the uh, xor operation okay you need to solve the xor operation <coughs> sorry to get the value here and then you can add three uh, input so you will get the value of your s and also co okay so one xor with zero you will get one okay one xor with zero also one okay zero xor with zero is zero zero xor with zero is zero so now we can continue for your s and co so for your first s okay uh, first S is uh, you need to add between uh, C in. Okay, first C in, uh, which is uh, 0. Okay, uh, 0 plus with A1. Okay, and then plus with this of, uh, value of XOR. Okay, so 0 plus 0 plus 1. Okay, you will get 1. CO0. So your CO0 will carry to the next CA, which is 0. Okay, next S2 is 0 plus 0 plus 1. So you will get 1 CO0. So your C in also 0. S3 is C in 0 plus with A3, 1. And then plus with the next S O. Okay, 0 plus 1 plus 0. So you will get 1, 0. Okay, next C in also 0. So 0 plus 0 plus 0 is 0. So your CO 0. So what is the value of S? Okay, so value of S. Okay, you may start with S4 or S1. So if you start uh, writing uh, S4, so S4 is really, uh, most significant bits. Okay, so your, your left, okay, the most left bits, okay, which is this is S4. 0, S3, 1, S2, 1, S1 is 1. So you will get 0, 1, 1, 1. Uh, so this value, okay, so this value is equal with this expected result brief, uh, early, earlier, okay, that we expect that we, uh, we need to get the value. Yeah, so it's the uh, same value, meaning that the process of uh, addition here is correct. And uh, last example, uh, using the same uh, circuit which is at the subtractor, but now we need to show the process of subtraction. Okay, 6 minus 5. Okay, so you draw the at the subtractor and then we start with the conversion. Okay, so A is 6. So 6 is uh, 0, 1, 1, 0. Okay, B is uh, 5. So 5 is 0, 1, 0, 1. So S, okay, we need that uh, uh, A minus B. So you will get S, which is uh, 6 minus 5. So you will get a 1 as your S. So your uh, S value, which is 1, is 0, 0, 0, 1. So this is your expected result okay, for uh, this value. Yep. Right, and then uh, first step uh, for your MAPI value uh, on your added subtractor is actually the value of your control. Okay, because uh, we want to perform the subtraction, so the value of control that you need to key in or input is one. Okay, you must you must remember in my lecture. So if you want to perform the subtraction by using added subtractor, the value of your control must equal to one. So that all lines that connected to control will carry the same value, which is 1. Okay, all lines, including your first C in. Okay. So next, you map the value of your A and also B. Okay, so we start with A. So A1 is 0, A2 is 1, A3 is 1, A4 is 0. Okay, B1 is 1, okay, B2 is 0, okay, B3 is 1, B4 is 0. Okay. And then next, we perform the XOR operation. Okay. So 1, XOR1 is 0. 0, XOR1 is 1. 1, XOR1 is 0. 0, XOR with 1 is 1. 
so you can get the value of your s and also co by performing the addition okay? so first s1 is c in 1 plus 0 plus 1 0 okay 1 plus 0 plus 0 you will get 1 0 so your c in also 0 okay 0 plus 1 plus 1 okay so 0 plus 1 plus 1 you will get 0 1 so your c in also 1 Okay, C in 1 plus A3, 1, and then plus with the next XO, which is 0. Okay, 1 plus 1 plus 0 is 0, 1. So, your next C in also 1. And then, the last one is uh, C in 1 plus with A4, okay, plus with 1. 1 plus 0 plus 1 is 0, 1. So, what is your answer? So, your S value Okay, we start with S4, so this is S4, 0, S3, 0, S2, 0, S1 is 1. So, you will get 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, so this is the process, how we can show the uh, subtraction, okay, by using adder, subtractor, subtract. So, now, uh, complete, okay, the process of uh, addition, sorry, subtraction. Okay, by using uh, subtractor circuit. Okay, for the first example. Okay, so first example, subtractor circuit. Okay, uh, for subtraction. Okay, second example. Okay, uh, add the subtractor circuit for addition. And the last example is uh, add the subtractor circuit uh, for subtraction. Okay, so I hope you can understand the operation uh, of uh, subtraction and addition uh, by using add the subtractor okay and also uh, subtraction okay by using subtractor circuit